Hello and welcome. It is Mix It Up Monday. I am so excited to be working on this layout. Um, yeah, this one's going to be a fun one. Here is our sketch that we are looking at. Really, really fun layout. I love the two different sizes of photos. This is actually going to be, for me, the beginning of our Vegas trip album. And so we're going to dive into this. I am also using my counterfeit kit um, from the counterfeit kit challenge for this month. And who am I? I am Karen. I am the everything here behind A Little Kinder on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And today we are diving into not only a little bit of mixed media, but we're also diving into my counterfeit kit. Now, here's where life gets interesting. With the counterfeit kit, usually um, the folks who've played along before, and I've been watching from the sidelines and it's time for me to get off the bench and get into the action, have picked mixed media things to go along with it. And since this was my first kit and I wasn't 100% sure where I was gonna go with it, I gave myself permission to dig into my stash and find whatever I needed because I just wasn't sure. Maybe later I'll pick a kit and limit myself to that, but not today. So here are the things out of this layout sketch that I am really drawn to. I love this little wonky piece that's stitched on. I love the washi tape and I love the photo arrangements. So let's talk about photos real quick. This picture is from the airplane. This is actually when we were coming in for a landing. And so you can see the stratosphere down here and then a lot of the different hotels along the strip that are on the stratosphere end. And I can't name them all. So sorry, friends. I just don't know them all. And then we found, this is not the big sign. This was actually a store that was like... um. Oh, souvenirs of all things Las Vegas. And so I took a picture of it because we weren't going to make it down to the actual sign that said, welcome to Las Vegas. And so I thought what would be really fun was with the way that the photos are laid out to have mine similar to this. I think actually in the sketch, it's probably more like that, but then I lose the stratosphere and that was kind of it's one of the few things in Vegas in the skyline that I can pick out of, pick out, um, and partly because I am not about to do anything at that height. Um, they do have a jump, and my husband and my kids have done it. I have not and will not, so <laughs> there's that. I also pulled out some flair from Scrap and Happy Studios, time to travel, and a little camera. Then out of my kit... I pulled a piece of the simple stories that I had just kind of pulled the whole collection and I used my silhouette and cut out those wonky pieces. We may sew on them too. I also thought that Discover with the pink letters to say Vegas would be a great title. So there's that. And then I also pulled this uh, sheet from hip kit clubs june kit because i liked the gold stars and i thought that might be fun let's see paper wise this is going to be my background and then because i didn't pull any washi and i'm not going to cheat i could i could go grab some i've got plenty i thought that what i would do is use this paper cut a very narrow strip of it that matches you know the the width of a washi and use that. And so I thought that would be fun. I also have this branding strip. I don't know if you noticed here, it looks like um, we've got some staples holding some paper down. So my thought was that I might use the branding strip and cut it into smaller pieces because I only have 12 inches and hide it behind my photos. Now the mixed media part, I want it to be this glittery looking part behind it. So. Not 100% sure what I want my mixed media to be either. I love the idea of putting it through a stencil, but I'm not sure. I also kind of really love the idea of using um, 
either ink or a spray stain and doing the smushing kissing technique to get that look in kind of in here. And I did pull, in case I wanted to go that way, sponge sugar. I thought that sponge sugar would look really good against this. I also pulled salvage patina. Not 100% sure I want to use that on a pink paper. So there's that. I've also got the Vicky Booten stencil that has these little globes on it, which might be interesting. I don't know. We'll, we'll get into that and we'll play a little bit and see what's going on. I do like the idea of a dimensional something. So maybe we do a little translucent texture paste with some ink smushing through it. Mm, that may be where we go. So here's what I'm going to do, friends. I'm going to cut off the mic. I'm going to speed this up and we are going to make a layout. Be back in a few.
Here's our layout. Oh my goodness, am I loving this? Loving it. So, fun fact, um, I didn't clean my stencil the last time I used it and it had a little mustard seed on it. So it kind of gave it this orange tinge that I really like. It kind of goes with this color scheme. Since there wasn't a whole lot of color in this photo, but there was here, I kind of wanted to bring out some of those retro-y feeling colors, kind of the things that might um, balance against the browns and the blues in this photo. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I stitched along this piece. Yeah, that was fun. Um, note to everyone, make sure you pay attention to where your thumb is so you don't get your needle under your thumbnail. Did not do it this time, but I have. Yes, I speak from experience. So yeah, here it is. My friends, another layout done. I'm loving it. So this was Mix It Up Monday. <clears throat> I do have a list down below of all of the guys and gals who are playing along this month. This is probably one of my favorite hops that I do because I get to bring to you a way to bring in a little bit of mixed media where it's not super scary, it's not overwhelming, where maybe you go, oh, I could try that. That would be cool. So we use translux, trans, I can't even talk, translucent texture paste. This is a Tim Holtz product. It's a gloss paste. And what I wanted was for there just to be this little bit of shine. And I'm not 100% sure that the camera picks it up, but in person you can see it. And so it's just a little bit of shine on top of some of the milky creaminess that you get from using Distressed Oxide ink. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I love how I was able to stretch this little branding strip by cutting it into pieces and tucking it uh, strategically. And then we use the tiny attacher. Of course, this one, the tiny attacher wouldn't reach, so we just grabbed the end of it and then stuck it down. We added the little gold stars. We added the extra globe lines up here. Just over Vegas. Like I said, this is going to be the first page in our Vegas trip. So yeah, so there it is. I am so glad you were here with me today as I created this layout. I hope that you are inspired to grab out some inks, maybe a blending tool, maybe get a little adventurous and grab some texture paste and try it. You know, it's paper. And if you don't love it, you can always do something else with it. So my friends, until next time, go make some memories. Bye-bye.